Hello there. You're back with me. Uh, I'm off the path. I'm off the path. No, I'm in the water. <laughs> I can't do this. I need, I need to see. Hello. You're back with me, architecture student. Uh, architecture, 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 architecture. Oh, I get way too excited about architecture. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, welcome back, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our next area of the world tour, which is the Vinelands. I forgot its real name. It has a real name. Look at this waterfall. Natural waterfall that I then just emphasized with lanterns and vines and stuff. Came out really cool. Um, so a really crazy point about this vineyard space, right, is these giant mushrooms. And I mean giant mushrooms. How great does that look? Like, those look cool. They look cool. But this looks insane. See if I can get it. Yes. It's the only way I can get up here safely. Come on. Almost there. We're almost there, guys. Oh, gosh. Come on, man. Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're back in it, and we're out of it. Yay. Really beautiful part of this top mountain over here. These are all Fletchers. I mean, I figure it makes sense. Um, I finished this the day of my exam. Lol. <laughs> ah, imagine. Like... I had just not slept, and I just like waiting for my exam on Zoom, and I'm just building a giant mushroom because I'm just so tired. Anyways, um, giant mushroom just because I wanted to, and I had a space open. So yeah, you guys can see the rest of the vineyards along here. Uh, the space is not complete yet. I still need to map out the rest of this line behind these houses over here. You can see my villager breeder over there. So I need to map it out like I have done on that side. Um, and it's it's very basic actually. I haven't even ruined these houses I don't think. Yeah I haven't. Um, I've been away from Minecraft for a few weeks and yeah I just haven't had time to really double back and like make it look really great. So like this is very basic, like super basic, I mean like, what is this? What is this? There's no half slab. I have to jump. Oh gosh, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. The mushroom village, that's what that was called. Yes. Sunflower slums. The sweet berry plains. Right. I remember now. This is the sweet berry plains, guys. So when we move around through this space, it's kind of meant to feel like a little bit of the Cape Townian, um, like Winelands, I believe it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, it's really meant to give off that type of vibe down here. And it's weird because the mushroom is actually habitable spaces, like I've made it into... Um, houses. You can see our villager breeder quickly. I've made it into houses and there they are. <laughs> so it's kind of like this monument that like you just engage with this entire like Sweetberry Plain, you know. It's really really cool. I really like it. This was a mountainous biome. A lot of this was in fact, all of this was just open stone. And I remember sitting in a lecture on Zoom, like with my second screen open on the lecture and my main screen open on Minecraft and just listening to her talk. Or this guy talk about free writing ex exercises. <laughs> oh, guys, it's funny. It's really, really funny stuff. Anyways, let's quickly get a nice view of the space from here so you guys can really see it's very close compact but it does have a pattern to it um, I think let's look at the houses down here of the people that inhabit these gigantic mushrooms I really like this 
like this small little nook over here. <sighs> so cool. This is a lot more... I had a lot more fun making these spaces. Like, just because I feel like it was a little bit of a break from the diorite houses and stuff. Like, you can see I just enjoyed this a little bit more. And there's random, like, windows and stuff. And it just becomes, like, this really playful space. It's really, really cool. I love it. I love it to bits. Like, this is probably one of my favorite ones. This dude would just... Thank you, dude or chick. Like, just the way that this looks is just insane. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, they gonna die there. Anyways, here's this horse. This horse has been here. It's not a horse that I broke. Like, <laughs> he's just yeah, man. It's so weird. And he's just remained here. Like, I placed in all of this, because this was all stone. And I placed it all in. And, like, my dude is still running around here on the plains. <laughs> yeah. These are, this is like a little bit more dense of a spot over here, but I've got farmers and I see they've spawned in a golem. None of these golems are mine. If it's not um, a golem in a farm, then it's not mine. <laughs> then they've spawned it in because they've been shitting themselves, apparently. Um, yeah. Sorry, I've thrown myself off a little bit. That is the giant mushroom. The mushroom village and the sweet berry. <laughs> Ow. I've had to line this entire thing with string because I just found like snow would just fall on it and it just kind of ruined it, you know? Because I intentionally placed these blocks here. Yeah? Like, they're hiding. <laughs> they're hiding lighting because this became like a massive mob thing, dude. It was insane. So I had to stop that with lighting and then it kind of looks really cool now because it looks like a giant mushroom you know and yeah but then the snow was ruining it and just like engulfing it so yeah that had to change for me here is our western border haha -ha! western monument but we'll get to that in a different video in the last video, I spoke about my one tick uh, sugarcane farm and how this pipeline feeds into a new storage system, right? If we go over here, you can see where that storage system is. Ah, lag. Frame rate drop. It comes into this space over here. Mm -hmm. This is our sugarcane farm storage system. So as you can see, I've got sugarcane. <laughs> like, I tried, when I realized I was about to update to 1.16, I literally just AFK'd for a solid day by that one tick sugarcane farm. And I'm so scared I haven't got enough now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to build a sugarcane farm um, with observers and pistons. Because, like, yeah, things aren't looking good, hey? I think in this episode, let's quickly talk about our slime and gunpowder farm as well. So you guys can see this is our little temple space. It's a really cool design. I've only got about a minute left until this video needs to end. So it's a really cool little temple thing happening over here on top. And all of that is just... <coughs> it is masking our gunpowder farm where creepers will fall to their deaths and our slime farm where slimes fall to their death there's a lot of falling and death relating to my world now now that i think about it hopper minecart collecting over there just simple hopper system over here you can get creepers falling and it's just really fun to just afk i've got a little afk spot up there so i can hit both of these things at the same time but you know, I've got I've got a small amount of gunpowder that I think I'll be okay with. And slime blocks. Oh, if I was on multiplayer, I would be so rich. Rockets and slime. Okay, that is our time. So, guys, I just want to say um, thank you so much 